agony of defeat. The thrill of victory. But perhaps we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 This is Ryan living in Cambodia, making videos to show you what it's like to live in the Kingdom of Wonder. And I am still buzzing after a great weekend of fights here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia's capital. Phnom Penh Inner Club Martial Arts is an organization, a collection of martial arts gyms in the country that has put together three fight cards in Cambodia so far. They actually started it as a way to raise funds so they could open up a not-for-profit boxing gym in Kampong Spu, a province outside of Phnom Penh. It's a way to give back to Cambodia and a way to promote martial arts, which has a long history in the Kingdom of Wonder. Pradal Sur Rai, also known as Kun Kamai. While the easiest way to describe it is to say it's the Cambodian version of Muay Thai, however, Cambodians will be quick to inform you that Kun Kamai came before Muay Thai. Thailand simply popularized it. Images of warriors practicing Kun Kamai are engraved into the 900 year old Angkor Wat. This is a country that has fighting in their blood. It's Friday night, one day from fight day, and Inner Club is weighing in their fighters for the event. We're at Amnesia, a small bar in Tultumpong. Representing the Philippines, Romel Tree. It's hot, the crowd is rowdy, but it's nothing compared to what we'll see in 24 hours. Weigh-ins are a fantastic way to get a preview of the matchups, to see what kind of shape the fighter is in, and to even get a sense of how the fights might go. Who wants it more? Who's more nervous? And who simply loves this shit? Oh, 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 oh. We got quarterfinals, England's favorite, James Bruce! <laughs> James weighs in. The crowd was fired up for James Brooks, the UK fighter who had fought on the previous two cards and won both his matches. He earned his position in the main event where he would be taking on Chai Ri Apachai from the French controlled island of Reunion. Chai Ri weighs in the same 74.0. The final fight. <laughs> Finally, it was fight night. We got to Cambodia top team, the gym where the event was being held, and the place was already packed with a line of people waiting to get in. There were seven fights on the card, three boxing and four kickboxing, which was in the style of Kamai kickboxing, so knees and elbows were legal. Each fight consisted of three three-minute rounds. If no one was knocked out, or if the ref didn't stop the fight, the bout would be decided by the judges. Fighters came from all over the world with eight countries represented on the card. The fans were a mix of ages, genders, and nationalities, and everyone seemed excited.
I've been to a few MMA events. I've seen GSP defend his title. I was there when John Jones had the fight of the year versus Alexander Gustafsson. Those were amazing events, but the intimacy of this one, how close I was able to get to the action, it was just awesome. <laughs> Martial arts is a weird sport. You don't have a pickup game of kickboxing. You don't play fighting. It's very serious and you could see it in the eyes of the fighters. But you could also see the joy. Many of the fighters were fighting for the first time ever. The first time they've ever been able to actually compete in the art they've been practicing for years and years. I'm sure they didn't get paid enough. I'm sure they hurt afterwards. But I'm also sure that for many, it was a dream come true. time for the main event, James Brooks hit the ring to a loud pop. The ring girl made her round, the ref gave instructions, and they came out swinging. Halfway into the first round, Brooks is knocked down, caught with a wild left hook that he didn't see coming. I thought it was over. But he showed his heart, he got right back up, and he went back to work.
disappointing, like to win this fight or whatever the case may be. Please be respectful of both fighters. All fighters are out there that put their support to But now, the judges have decided that this fight is in a draw. A draw. Some fans didn't like it, specifically some guy standing close to me. Realistically, Apachai probably won the first round 10-8 after scoring a knockdown, and then rounds 2 and 3 probably went to Brooks, 10-9 for each round, which would make it a 28-28 draw. Who do you think won? I mean, it was tough to tell. It was close, it was a close fight. At any rate, all I could think about was a rematch, which I hope will be happening at Interclub's next event. Follow Phnom Penh Interclub Martial Arts on Facebook. Go train at one of the local gyms. You don't have to be a tough guy or girl. You can go and just get an amazing workout. And I will see you guys at the fights. Take care, comb your hair. Before I wanna buy myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Good health, one day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake, flexing 700 in the bank. Not a 